Welcome to the Live Better, Sell Better podcast with your host, Kevin Dorsey of Inside Sales Excellence, the number one Patreon group and YouTube channel for tech sellers and tech sales leaders, where we dive in deep for tactical advice on how to book more meetings, close more deals faster, and lead sales teams to success. But we don't stop there. We also focus on the person in salesperson. We talk about mindset, goals, time management, and so much more. So thank you for listening. And if you're interested, head on over to patreon.com slash inside sales excellence. Now with that, grab a notepad, get ready, and let's dive into the good stuff. So when you do videos, Morgan, how often do you reuse them? Like when you record that video, is it a one and done? Or do you use it in multiple emails, multiple channels? Like how, like that video is made. Yep. And what, like how often do you use it? again? The scenario is going to be based on when I use that video again. So I have certain videos for objection handling and those can be stored in an inventory and I can use those according to the objections I have. So you don't have to do the same objection all and over again. You can actually house those in a place. And that's a recommendation that I have. Also, if you're doing a campaign, you can house those as well. I saw a question though on LinkedIn. Like I find that the LinkedIn videos have the most engagement and the most replies. And all of those are personalized videos that I'm not gonna reuse or for that person. So that, that's my answer to that question there. Got it. So actually, so that's one place. I think I'll just give a tip here. We're reusing the personalized video. So if you think about what a, what's a good click-through rate on a video, what do you see normally, Morgan? Like, I know you're getting 20% like response. There's also you targeting sales yeah. leaders. Yeah. Like a good click-through rate on a video right now is about 20 to 30%. Yeah. Are you seeing something similar across was- the orgs you're working with? Yes, but in some cases it's lower. It could be like 15%. Right. Yeah, like it's come it's come down a lot. Like again, yeah. just even when video first started out, like you're seeing 40, 50% oh, click-through yeah. rates. Like people are like, oh my God, you made me a video? Yes. <laughs> Let, get the popcorn out. I'm gonna watch this, right? Like yep. those days are gone. But so anywhere from 15 to let's even call it 20% click-through rate. What I've noticing and where we're starting to coach the team is People put all this effort into making that first video. 80% of people don't watch it and then they never use it again, right? Mm. So you want to keep using the video until it gets watched. This is where you're changing up your subject line. This is where you're changing up the body. This is where you can start to reuse it. So I'd encourage y'all, if you put in the effort to make that video, use it again if they didn't watch it. They didn't watch it the first time, send them another email with the video change it up a little bit. Didn't watch it the first, third time, second time, third time, like keep going. So don't let the video to go to waste would just be a quick tip for everyone. Cause you did, you took the time to personalize it. Keep using it until they watch it. This is where that, that awareness section of influence is so key. They saw it the first time and they delete it. They didn't watch it. Mm. You'd be shocked. The amount of people that watch it the second time you send it. Right. So we, we have one right now that's seen like a 15, 15, 15% click through rate on email one, 15% click through email two to people that didn't open email one. So now we're starting to get that secondary lift. So just something to test out there, y'all. Body uh, language we uh, covered. A B testing with screen versus recording your face. Yeah, I don't I still can't see it. But yes, sounds like <laughs> a real question. <laughs> so the so the it's this one's really interesting. So that the Basically what it is, is the LinkedIn hover and you can hover over someone's LinkedIn profile to make them a video. So I've, I've seen more success with the LinkedIn hover than I do with the face video. And I think everyone across the board might be different on that, but I personally love the LinkedIn hover and it's one of my favorite things to do. If I could find relevant information, I'm not going to hover over their profile. They have nothing. I only do it when there's relevant info, which is the reason why it does so well, because again, that's, it's about them, right? And that's the real, that's the real reason that I started doing it a lot. And I love it because it has you in the corner and you're not that high a priority. Right. And it has them in the forefront where they can see their profile and I could drill into whatever they have there. The obstacle though, is when they have nothing, that's when I, I don't use it because it's really not, uh, to me, I don't think it's as relevant. I like to point out certain things that I see in the profile. 
So that I'll, I'll go and say answer that one. So one, I just heard this from someone uh, actually two months ago, towards the end of 2020, something very similar. They said they saw a massive uptick when they started having the CEO's profile up. So if the person they were reaching out to didn't have a strong profile, but the CEO of the company did, they'd hover on the CEO's mm. profile. So just a little, little something, something. I haven't gotten to test that personally yet. I'm it's like, I'm going it. after, I have, you know, <laughs> test it and see, cause I'm going after doctors. There's no like CEO there, but the concept behind it, I was like, that actually sounds pretty genius. I think that actually would work because it's something in their world they would recognize. And again, back to the word that Morgan kept using curiosity, like, why the hell do you have my CEO's profile pulled up right now? So, so I know we, we got to do the hard pivot here, but it should work because I've actually been doing an A-B test where I'll go to a company's website and look at their press release and I'll find a quote from the CEO. And then I'll use, I'll use the CEO's name as a subject line mm -hmm. and then include the CEO's quote in there. That's applicable to my training services. And that has an 80% open rate right now. So yeah, it should work for video. I just never thought about that way, but now I'm going to do it. And I'll let you know. <laughs> there we go.